Hi. OneView Healthcare is a patient experience system really designed to empower the patient at the bedside to ensure that they have the optimal experience while in the hospital. One of the things you'll notice here on our homepage is that the patient is greeted by their name. Here you'll see Hi Zebra and then you'll able, you're able to see your care team down that left hand side. So this will rotate through who your care team is assigned based on your EMR assignment through EPIC. On the right hand side is my stay, so the patient's able to see their anticipated discharge date, as well as any notifications for upcoming scheduling or assigned education. One of the big differentiators of the system is our ability to translate into their preferred language. We currently have translated up to 28 languages, right to left and left to right, but this ensures that the patient is greeted with a device that it isn't a language that they're comfortable in so that they are able to uh, feel welcomed and empowered and included during their stay. I'm gonna move this back to English here for a quick moment, but you'll also know that that translation uh, is what greets them upon admission. So it'll say their name and prompt them in uh, to put their birth date in and explain to them a little bit about what the tablet is for. Um, one of the top areas that the patients like to use on the tablets are entertainment. So if we click here, we can have things like our live television, our swank movies, which is like movies on demand and their new up-to-date uh, titles. But we also have our relaxation content. So these are titles such as you know, babbling brooks, your white noise, guided meditation, all things that are gonna help that patient to be relaxed and reduce some of the other noise that occurs inside the hospital stay. Some of those titles are even able to be nine, 10 hours long so that it could cover the majority of their sleeping hours. You'll also see that there's the ability to do a video call. So if they wanna call their loved one, if they maybe through Zoom um, or their preferred platform. But then we have the remote video interpretation services. So instead of that rolling cart that's often at the hospital uh, that's sometimes a struggle to find or may not even be plugged in, the patients and staff are able to then update um, and click and reel right into their preferred uh, translation partner right on the device using the camera on the tablets uh, to guide that conversation. Meal ordering is a very large uh, feature that we have a lot of utilization and usage on because the staff really like to empower the patients to make those decisions. Here the patient is able to make their selections and you'll see the nutritional counts are appearing and depending on their diet they're only going to see foods they're allowed to have and if they make selections that are above their nutritional restrictions they'll actually be prompted on the screen and adjust and inform to make a different uh, decision so it also helps to solidify some patient education. Once they submit that order, which we're not gonna submit that today, um, that goes right to the kitchen, takes away the staff burden in the kitchen from having to answer the phone or process those orders, and it actually just prints the ticket right into the line for them to make that tray. Service requests are also another great satisfier. This is very empowering to the patient, but it also helps to support trauma-informed care initiatives where the patient can actually click exactly what they'd like so they're not putting on the call light to have to um, ask the staff for assistance. If they want to maybe have a chaplain visit, they could click and request that visit themselves. That message goes through email or SMS text right to that department, and then they can then come back and visit with the patient. Information allows the hospital to put in a digital packet together. So instead of the print cost and overhead of a paper packet, they can load those items onto the device. Now, if patients still want that paper packet, it's always good to have a couple at hand at the nurse's station, but they can do things here like look at their visiting hours or the other information that they typically would have in there, including things like nominate your nurse or your DAISY award program. Room controls is a nice feature, really common in our new build, builds or if it's a construction um, site, but here the patient in the bed is able to do things like control the temperature or the shades or the room lighting. That helps to eliminate the risk of falls for them to feel like they needed to get up out of bed, but also helps to empower maybe those that are less mobile to have more control of these items in their room. And last, but certainly not least, is our MyStay Overview tile. 
Their digital whiteboard in the room is a great tool, but what we've heard is it's often not updated by staff in a timely way, but also patients are really sensitive about what information is written there. So with the My Stay Overview tile, we're able to on demand allow the patient to see key items about their stay, including things such as their plan or their schedule, and that can come in directly from the EMR. They can also see their goals, the assigned education, their anticipated discharge date, but also have easy reference for things such as their primary contacts or their isolation or diet. And you'll see that they even can access things like their My Belongings or Allergies. Now this is highly customizable through configuration with a series of widgets that we can then make this view very specific based on the needs in the population of a certain hospital or a certain unit. So this is just one example of the way this is set up, but using that library of widgets, the view and the focus of the information can be very different uh, for each customer. Thank you so much.